Aloha, this is Arlen Nagata. Hey, last time we talked, I, I was working in Apple's iWork pages and making a page layout for my friend who wants to do her church bulletins. And what we did was we dragged out a couple of these guidelines in all the right spots and actually I had to adjust them after looking at my layout again but they're correct now and then we made a couple of these text boxes one here for like the daily announcements one here for the full announcements and one here for the bottom portion of her uh, bulletin okay and today what I want to do is just take you on a tour of this style panel so I'm gonna click it and say show styles drawer and it opened but you can't see it because it's back it's behind there so I'll move these two out of the way so you can see this paragraph styles character styles and list styles okay all pretty interesting stuff not really, but <clears throat> useful and stuff that we'll have to use. So, well, to begin with, I'm going to uh, drag in some text. So I'm going to switch over to text edit, and I've got all of my text pre-typed out for you. And so I'm going to copy that with Command-C, come back here, double-click on the words, delete those and command V will paste it in here okay and what do I notice so far so hmm, what do I want to do with this actually I'm looking at my friends layout here these need to be all capital what's up okay and I want to make this a three clicks selects that I'm just gonna make this I'm gonna change this weight to bold I'm gonna make it 14 point Helvetica that looks pretty good And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to make a couple of paragraph styles. And you, you may see why I'm doing this in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on your create new paragraph style from selection. And I'm going to call this, oops, I'm still got the cap, unified bold sidebar. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same here. The rest of this, this is a little bit big for my layout, so I'm going to drop this to 10 point font. That, I think, is the right size, so we can play with this a bit. In fact, yes, let's play with this a bit before we set it all in stone. I think 10 is a little too small. So I want to select all this and let's go to 11. 11 is going to be what I want. And so I'm going to just come into this text and I'm going to create a new paragraph style. I'm going to call it unified sidebar. Okay, so I created these two paragraph styles so far, the bold sidebar and the, and the regular sidebar. Okay, and this is starting to take shape to, for when I, I want this for. Now I'm going to give it a couple of spaces, and then I notice that my friend wants to put the logo here, and I happen to have this files right in the finder so I'm just going to command tab over to the finder 
drag this unified logo simple dot AI into my project. Okay. Click back here so I'm in my project. Now if you're kind of paying attention there, I just dragged an Adobe Illustrator file into pages and pages can read it. That's a really cool trick. Okay. I'm resizing this logo. I'm holding down the shift key and that will constrain the proportions, meaning it will be um, exactly how I want it. Length and height and width wise. Okay, and I'm getting this feeling like this is a hard logo to maneuver. Okay. I'm gonna just nudge this over with my arrow keys. Till I get it to the right place that I want it. I think I want it right about there. And that looks pretty good. Okay. And now these things, you notice they're just regular text, but what my friend wants these to be is bullet, a bulleted list. So I've highlighted them all, and I'm going to come up here to this icon here, and just choose a bullet. And if you notice something, down here, I'm now using a bullet. It chose the list style for me. Okay, there's my options for that. I don't want to do those options yet. So I'm going to come back here, and this is looking. Um, pretty good, but not not quite good enough for what I want. So what I want is I want a little space in between each of these. And the way I'm going to get that little space, you know, after each bullet, I want a little bit of space. So the way I'm going to get that is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to the text. And I want a little space after the paragraph. I want eight points. Ten points. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so if you if you notice what happened here, while while I was dragging the slider, these points were spacing out. Okay, meaning they were getting the space in between them. And that's looking pretty good for what I want. Um, I may want these bullet things to be a little bit bigger and I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that okay but right now um, because I've got this basically how I want it I'm gonna create a new paragraph style and I'm gonna call this unified sidebar list okay and how nice it's got a little bullet there Okay, and so basically, I've got this, this all, all created out here, all set, ready to go. Why did I create all of these things? This is just going to make my life faster in the future. Okay, so I'm doing everything for next week's bulletin. Okay, because I don't want to have to mess with styles as I go along. Okay, so what, what happens is um, next week, oops, next week, if none of that was there, I just kept the logo there. Okay, none of my none of my styles, nothing nothing is here. And say I just had this this text. I drop that text in there and I go, oh no. I, I've got to change all of this again. Well, I'm just going to click here in this line. I'm going to click Unified Bold Sidebar. Okay, that's good. I'm going to highlight the rest of it and go with the sidebar. That changes the font for me. Then I'm going to highlight the bullets and just click on the sidebar list. And then they're all nicely, evenly spaced. But I added a couple of return 
enter things just to space it out for that logo and there you have it I've recreated this with just a few clicks and using paragraph styles so this is really helpful when you when you're doing repetitive tasks and I'm feeling like my friend's going to be doing bulletins and it's going to be a repetitive task so she's going to want something like this okay let me look at this now I have made a mistake and here's my mistake when I when I look back at what she's done or what she wants to do all of this needs to be a different font it needs to be let's see Times New Roman I think it's I think it's Times New Roman that looks more like her original and it's not 11 points now it should be maybe 12 points that's looking more like what she had originally okay so I'm gonna do that click on the logo move that nudge that down just a little bit this is looking more like what she wants and so what what am I gonna do I've changed all this stuff well I'm gonna come up here to the paragraph styles I'm going to redefine style from selection and that's gonna change it and update it oops don't want to do that command Z is undo so let's undo that come down here to the bullet point and I'm going to redefine style from selection okay so all is not lost I did make some mistakes but easily corrected and I've corrected them I remember this is all caps okay perfect hey that's it for part two I hope you we got started on some paragraph styles so hope those helped God bless you guys